Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can schedule the test activities in Spira Team. So if you remember in the previous videos, we had created requirements in test cases and tasks and scheduled the tasks. The developers have now started working on the development, and now the testers need to start doing some of the testing. And so what we'll do today is show you how you can use the test set module to schedule the test cases we had created previously. So as a recap, if you go back to the test case section, you'll remember we have a folder of test cases called functional tests, and we have four test cases in it. Now on a very small project this size, you could actually assign the test cases individually by just assigning the owner, this column right here. But in most projects of any substantial size, you're going to want to use the test set feature. So we'll show you that today. So to create a test set, you first go to the test set view, which will be empty. And you can either just create them in the root folder or you can create a subfolder. So just to keep it easier to keep them collected from each other, I'm going to go in here and create a folder. So let's call it testing cycle one. You can have as many folders as you like and you can have many levels, one level, it's entirely up to you. Click on that and now we'll create a new test set. And uh, for today we're just going to call it sample testing cycle. And when it is created, it will initially be created with an execution status of not run and no test cases in it. So we'll click on the test set. And what we need to do now is, first of all, add some test cases to our set. So let's collapse down the parameters. We don't need that right now. And the description we don't need and the comments we don't need. So you can collapse the down the things you're not going to use. And let's add some test cases. So let me click on the Add button. And by default, it's looking in the root of our test repository. Well, there are no test cases here. I could just search because there aren't any by name book. So I'll just go and browse instead. To browse, just choose a folder name. And there you go. There's our four test cases. So let's say we're going to first do these four. Now, if we had other folders, we could pick and choose test cases from other folders. Now, the one benefit of the uh, test set was that you can arrange a custom order. So in the test folder, they were arranged in alphabetical order. That may not be the correct order for execution. So in this case, we actually want to create users, edit users, and delete users. That order is it makes sense. But we probably want to put the notifications in place first. So we can drag that up, and we can let that go right there. And now we have the right order. We have edit notifications, create new users, edit users, delete users. And if you want to multi-select and drag, you can check the checkboxes and then drag. I don't want to change it. That's why I let go. So that's very good. The other thing we can also do is show and hide different columns. So if there are columns here you don't want to see, you can show and hide different columns. Um, otherwise, we're good to go. So what we'll do now is assign this. So let's assign this to Fred, who's our tester. And let's tell Fred we want these to be tested in release one, sprint one. These are manual test cases. We do support test automation within Spira team, but that's not in today's video. And we want to tell Fred he needs to run the test by Monday. And that three o'clock, that looks fine. And we want to have him run them every day or just once. Well, for this, we just want to do it once. But there is the option to schedule it on a recurring basis. So I hit Save now. And once that's set, an email will go to Fred. And Fred is basically going to run the test set and all the test cases. So what we'll do is let's log out. And let's log in as Fred. And if you log in as Fred, the password is please change, same as it was for administrator. And that login is available in a sample installation of Spira Team. And when we log in as Fred, we'll change it to current project. And if you scroll down, you'll see my assigned test sets. Oh, I'm in the wrong project. So make sure always you're in the right project. We should be in sample application two, which is right there. There's my assigned task from the previous video. And here's our assigned test set. So there's only one because we only created one in this project. And if I hit the play button, it's going to run the test set. So that's how you would schedule a test set and assign it to a tester. And we'll be looking at how you actually run the test in the next video. So until then, see you soon.